Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlog. As you might notice, it might be summer again. You can kind of tell that because of uh, the lack of shirt. But that's not what we are here to talk about today. Yesterday, I said we was doing something today. And uh, it occurred to me after I made the video that actually some of you might know what we're doing today. Uh, I might have mentioned it before or I might not have done. But for those of you who don't know, today is where we start working on the third of this year's goals. For those of you who don't know, at the start of the year I decided that there were three goals, I suppose, three big events of this year that I wanted to uh, succeed with, to go through, to um, just generally experience. Now, the first of these was turning 21, which happened on April the 24th of this year. I became an official adult everywhere in the world, to the best of my knowledge. Then, my second goal was to finish and graduate from uni. That kind of happens in two parts. I have finished uni now. That happened on the 8th, was it? Whatever. That happened uh, two weeks ago. And graduation happens in October. So that's kind of, that's that pretty much wrapped up. The third of my goals for this year was to learn how to drive and we're going to make a start on that today. <laughs> today is my first driving lesson ever and I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> Excited and nervous at the same time. It will be fine, hopefully it will be pretty good. Um, kind of looking forward to it. Um, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes though because um, well, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty big thing, you know, I haven't done driving since I got my driving license from Legoland many years ago. I'm sure we'll be fine. Anyway, whilst we wait, I've got a little bit of time before I need to head over there, so I think I might work on making some videos in readiness for when I go away in, uh, in a week, at the end of the month, at the end of this week. So I shall see you later on. What have you done today to make you feel proud? I have recorded all of the videos that I need for whilst I am away. Oh yeah, they're all recorded. All I need to do now is edit them all, render them all and upload them all. And that is that. Yeah! So that's what I've done today to make me feel proud. And I thought that bus had broken down. That wouldn't have been a good moment because now I'm about to do something else to make me feel proud. I am going to brush my teeth, put a shirt on, and then I'm going to go and meet the driving instructor. <laughs> that is fine. What was that? Oh my Jesus. Oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm on my bed, you get the light switch in your bed. Oh, that's probably too loud. Whatever. <gasps> ah, I'm in one of those moods. I reckon I'm excited. Can you tell? Uh, <laughs> one of the videos I recorded was a little bit kind of... um. This is the problem with living in a non-rural place. I know the word is either urban or suburban, but I don't know what to refer to this as. Kind of suburban, I suppose. The problem with living in a suburban and urban place is the sirens, because they are so freaking loud. And they really wind me up. Do they need to be that loud? No. Not really. They need to be loud enough that people know. They don't need to be deafening. And also, emergency services refrain like please stop and i speak for every single person on the planet stop turning your sirens on as soon as you are right next to a pedestrian that is the worst thing you can do you are terrible human beings for doing that but also amazing human beings for all the amazing work you do but stop doing that because it's not fair because we haven't got sirens to be able to go at you with yeah, I may be excited or nervous, I haven't really decided which. So I'm going to carry on getting ready and make sure I'm not late because I have to leave in about 10 minutes and I don't think I can get everything done that I need to in those 10 minutes. So I shall see you later on. How did it go? Um, 
yeah, it, um, I don't know, I don't know what to sum it up with, really, um, it went well, it went well, um, I mean, I didn't crash, <laughs> um, and, you know, I know it went well, you know, it didn't go, it didn't go badly, um, however, there's an overwhelming sense of pessimism at the moment. I know, I know the lesson went well, and he said it went well. He said I did, you know, I did good. Um, and I seem to be on the right track, which is, you know, that's helpful. <laughs> I don't feel too good about it. Um, Maybe just because that's a hu—it's a huge amount of new stuff that you need to learn and take on, and remember, um, especially in your your first lesson, especially in something where you have so much responsibility as well. You know, I was I was driving someone else's car for the and for the first time I've ever driven. I was driving someone else's car in a place where other people were driving cars. Um, so there was. A huge amount of, I guess, pressure and responsibility, and then there's all the information you're trying to take in and learn as well. And then, you know, if you get stuck on something, and it's hard to get out of that rut and to remember what to do and stuff. But I'm, I'm going to assume that this is just because it's the first lesson, and this is where literally all of the new stuff comes in, and every lesson afterwards should be a bit easier and hopefully I should come away from it feeling a bit better I feel good because I did it and because we're you know we're on the path it's, you know and I did well at it but I'm anxious and concerned but I think that's just because of like I say everything that I've had to take in on this first the first lesson also you always dwell on mistakes you've made and stuff like that um for example i i can do everything pretty well except for anything involving the clutch which f from talking to mum and dad and jay as well is apparently fine <laughs> at the moment but I don't know, maybe I'm a bit frustrated because that's the only thing I couldn't do and it's so simple, maybe I'm frustrated because really I should be alright at it being a drummer, I should have that sort of coordination to be able to coordinate all four of my limbs in such a way but and maybe I felt like I didn't do that well um, I don't know, it's tough to try and word but the important thing is I am feeling alright about it I don't think it's discouraged me from carrying on it's just a momentary kind of yeah, just a, just a blip of pessimism at the moment which hopefully will overcome anyway I've rambled on about it long enough so I'll leave you with today's weather score it was very hot today so today's weather score is sunny and I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog so, until then, goodbye. <laughs> so what I will just say is, if anyone is kind of like uh, concerned or confused at how sort of pessimistic, I guess, or how unenthusiastic I seem to be about it, it's... <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, I very much have a belief and a strong confidence in my abilities you know whatever I have an ability in I have a belief in it it's a very strong belief I know that I if you if I if there's um like take drumming for example I know that I am good and that I can do it and that I'm you know, that I'm good, I'm good at it. Um, 
in the same way that I know that I am good with my limbs. I have the necessary ability to control all four of my limbs independently, which I know sounds daft, but if you think about it, trying to move all four limbs in a controlled and coordinated way is, you know, that's actually kind of hard. And I know I can do all, I can, I can do that, but I'm getting stuck on the fact that I couldn't deal with the clutch. Um, with, and you know, it's only the first lesson, so I just need to keep on looking on the, the positive aspects of it. You know, I didn't crash, and it was only my first lesson. Mistakes are made, and you know, you don't know everything, so it's it's fine, and I'm happy, and I, you know, it's not kind of like. I just don't want to come across as though I didn't enjoy it or I didn't find it beneficial or it wasn't good to me because it was enjoyable. It was beneficial and, you know, it is going to be good for me to be able to do. It's going to be good for um, just for general building of character, for, you know, helping to control my limbs even more and um, as a way of repaying Jay for coming to pick me up and ferry me about so often. <laughs> So, you know, it is all good stuff, but like I say, not only do I have confidence in my own abilities, and it really bugs me when I know I have that, when I know I can do something, but I'm, but I can't do it. That, that really bugs me. So, in addition to that, I also really don't like underperforming, failing, not doing well. And, you know, I. It, it, sometimes it does get to the stage where if I don't get, you know, perfect, you know, if I don't, if I don't do flawlessly, if I don't do as well as I'd hoped I would have done, then I tend to, you know, beat myself up about it, which I shouldn't, and I know I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> so I just need to get out of the mindset now and not let it affect the future lessons because that's not what you need you know if you've got a blip at the start of the process it's going to be magnified and even worse by the end of it so i just need to shake off the the first lesson issues which is the same with anything if you do anything for the first time you're going to have problems so i just need to shake that off a bit really which will come in time and like I say, like I say, it was, it was good and beneficial, and I did enjoy it. And it sucks that it's coming across that it was none of those things, but that's just where my mind is at right now. Yeah, now, now I'm ending it for real. See you tomorrow.